When we went in to record Hysteria, and Matt said, let's do a rock version of Thriller, where you have like seven singles. Create a genre of our own. Um, again, well, I remember we wrote it in Dublin, and um, we wanted to have a kind of a T-Rexy feel. Rick Savage came up with that. He came up with the original thing, and it, um, kind of a silly thing, play on words. I, I'm a getting it, I'm a getting it. it was, um, so we just had fun with it, and it started off with a. The song Love Bites, um, Mutt actually brought it to us as an acoustic thing, and it almost sounded like an Eagles thing. And it was really cool, and, and then I, I think me and Steve, we, we started doing this um, harmony chord thing. So literally, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd play like a, a minor seven. It started out as a country song, but then it kind of, it, it's stuff that you'd hear on an R&B record, really. I wrote Animal. That song took three years to write, or to, or to get right. We finished the song and we, we weren't quite happy with it. Joe had done this amazing lead vocal in the studio in Paris, so we scrapped the backing track and, and kept the lead vocal and, and, and redone everything around there. The, the whole thing at the beginning, it kicks off with a, a, a guitar feedback thing, goes... <laughs> So Excitable really really started, it was a Rick Savage riff. We ended up getting a song that had, had a, a lot of effects on it, you know. Oh, you Excitable, and you know. And, and it had all these kind of, <laughs> and these really clean tones and everything, and, and then it kicked off. Pour Some Sugar on Me started, we'd, we'd kind of finished the album, and you know, we were late delivering the record to the record company and all of this stuff. And Joe's sitting in the corridor in, in, in a studio, very much like this, we were in Holland. And he's just like sitting there with an acoustic guitar and Matt goes, what's that? And he goes, I don't know. And he, it's like, pour some sugar. So before, he said, we should make a song of this. We should record it. We're going, well, we're a bit, we're way over. We're four and a half million dollars in debt and all of this stuff. And he said, no, this song's going to be really important. <laughs> If you write songs based on the song as opposed to the key, and, and you've got the melody in mind, and, and, and that, that's where you go, then all the other stuff falls into place.